Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this video, we're going to look at the image radiance filter that's available in Aurora HDR 2018. Now, if you'd like to give your image that kind of ethereal glow, then the image radiance filter is the filter for you, and it does a really, really nice job. And it may look a little complicated. It's got six different sliders in two different groups, but it really is a very simple filter to use. And like the HDR denoise filter, it has an amount slider that's defaulted at zero. And what that means right off the bat is that when it's at zero, you could move any of the other sliders, including these two sliders, vividness and warmth, that are in another grouping, and nothing will happen to your image until you give it some amount. So that amount slider, again, is like a volume control on a stereo. You have to turn it up a little bit before you'll see any changes. So what I would recommend you do is give your, you know, a little bit of an amount. And as you can see, as with the other sliders at their default, as we turn the amount up, it seems that darker parts of the image start getting a little fuzzy. So it's kind of given us that little bit of that ethereal look, mainly the darker parts of the image. So I'm going to jump around a bit. If we turn them out up considerably, let's say like 77, and we have these dark parts really dark, what you could do is you could go down to the shadows slider and move that to the right, and it really opens up the shadows. So you still have this kind of glow on the darker parts of the scene, but at least we opened it up a little bit. So if you're ever working with the image and you turn a mount up and it's just making the darker parts a little too dark, Go down to the shadows slider and move it to the right to open up the shadows. Now, similarly, the brightness slider will bring up the brightness of the brighter parts of the image. So, in my opinion, they probably should have called this highlights because it's really only affecting the brighter parts of the image. Usually, a brightness control would affect the brightness of the entire scene, but in this case, this doesn't. So move it to the right. By default, I should say it's at zero. So if we move it to the right, it's going to make the brighter parts of the image even brighter. If we move it to the left, it's going to bring those brighter parts down and make them a little darker. So what you could do is between the brightness and shadow sliders, you could balance your image so that your tones are more uh, evenly um, distributed throughout your shadows through the midtones to the highlights by moving those two sliders. Now we have this smoothness slider and we've dealt with the smoothness slider before and I mentioned it's kind of like a backwards clarity slider. For those of you that use Lightroom know that with a clarity slider if you move it to the right you're going to bring out some detail in the image and if you move it to the left you're going to soften the image. Well, the smoothness slider is backwards. You move it to the right and you'll soften the image. And you move it to the left and you'll bring out detail in the image. And you can see it's, it's kind of a weird looking detail, but it is detail nonetheless. So you could move the smoothness slider to uh, further affect the image to your liking. Now once you have those four sliders done, you could move down to the uh, vividness and warmth which are in their own grouping down here. Now, vividness is a slider that will affect mainly the primary, the painter primary colors of red, blue, and yellow. So if we move it to the right, you're going to see that reds, yellows, and blues, there's a tiny bit of blue in the image, will get enhanced. If I move it to the left, it's going to diminish the red, yellow, and blue. But it basically leaves the secondary colors alone. So it's only going to affect those primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. So you could move that to give you to the right to increase the saturation of those colors or move it to the left to decrease the saturation of those colors. And warmth simply is kind of like a color temperature slider. 
If you move it to the right, you're going to warm up the image, and if you move it to the left, you'll cool down the image. So it's very simple to use. Just move it to the right, and you'll warm everything up. Move it to the left, and you'll cool everything down. So you could work with these six sliders and give your image some nice radiance, but still affect the highlights and shadows in such a way that makes it more pleasing to you and affect the color in such a way that you overall make it something you want. So that's simply the radiance filter that's available in Aurora HDR 2018. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.